Yes. <laughs> you know, I was reading this uh, Ezekiel chapter 46, <laughs> uh, verse 16. Thus saith the Lord God, yeah. If the prince give a gift unto any of his sons, the inheritance thereof <laughs> shall be his sons. <laughs> it shall be their possession by inheritance. <laughs> but if he give a gift of his inheritance to one of his servants, <laughs> then it shall be his to the year of liberty. <laughs> After it shall return to the prince, but his inheritance shall be his sons for them. <laughs> Uh, moreover, yes, mm -hmm. verse 18, the prince mm -hmm. uh, shall not take of the people's inheritance by oppression yeah. to thrust them out of their possession, but he shall give his son's inheritance out of his own possession that my people uh -huh, be not scattered every man from his possession. Now, uh, in Ezekiel uh, chapter 46, uh, verses 16, 17, and 18, mm -hmm. there's this concept of royalty, yes. Mm -hmm. Those that are the billionaires of the world and those that have their monies managed. <laughs> now, if you were a servant of a royal family, you'd get an inheritance, but then you'd have to return it on a certain year, mm -hmm. the year of liberty, <laughs> Now, this is probably some sort of um, holiday that they had back then that <laughs> every 50 years or 100 years or whenever it was. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all those servants that thought that they were really wealthy because they got an inheritance had to give the money back. Yes. Then there were the actual sons of the prince. Oh, and um, when they gave a, son, a gift to their sons, right, uh, the inheritance was the actual family's inheritance. Yes. But quite often these uh, princes, yes, mm -hmm. uh, they would take the people's possessions. Yes. And when they did that, um, they kind of ripped off, mm -hmm, stole from the people their actual possessions. Yes. Now, you know, when, when you really think about, um, well, I was reading the dictionary. Yes. Um, there's what's known as a crime, mm -hmm. the commission of an act forbidden by law. Yes. A crime. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Bible would say it's a crime. Yes. To take the people's possessions because you're a, you're a, you have an inheritance. Yes. But then they have what is known as a motive. Mm -hmm. What is the motive? Yes. Motive. Mm hmm Something as a need or desire which causes a person to act. Yes. Mm -hmm. A purse, uh, a musical motive. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, you'd have to have motive uh -huh, to commit a crime mm -hmm, where you took possession of something that didn't belong to you. <laughs> now, yesterday we were kind of talking about different types of cybernetics. Yes. Let's say there's a, a corporate army. Yes. And they use a type of saturation technology similar to a 6G or 7G type of Wi-Fi. Yes. Now, their thought is their royalty. Mm -hmm. That's really their ideology. They have so much money that's being managed that they feel that they have the right to take the possessions of any individual and then control you so that you don't realize that mm, the real motive is, is taking ownership. <laughs> now... A lot of those in the family, they think they're royal. Mm -hmm. They are really special. Mm -hmm. They can fly around at 50,000 uh, feet at altitude. Yes. Now, somehow I think that they've been making small modifications to different types of private jets. <laughs> thinking that um, you do or you don't have to stay under the sound barrier when owning a, a private aircraft. Yes. Now, I designed a technology that used sound waves, yes, so that I could use sound to open up the sound barrier so that you would not hear me when I'm traveling. Oh, nobody used any of my innovations to make small modifications to your private jets that all had to stay under mock. Oh, see, 
quite often when you have billions of dollars, you like to use the intellectual property. <laughs> Why don't you get me those jets again? And <laughs> could you just look at the flight patterns of the actual amount of time necessary to travel from <laughs> New York to St. Petersburg? Yes. Or New York to Tokyo? Yeah. You know, I kind of think that the sound barrier was reserved for the military. <laughs> Now, I know, yes, how the sound barrier works. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned yesterday, I like to travel at 3 to 4 Mach. Yes, thinking I could get from Seattle to Tokyo in about four hours. <laughs> now, um, I, I designed this technology so that in, in the front of a lot of these private jets, they have this nose. Yes. Well, you can actually use sound to separate the sound barrier so you could travel faster than what you would think. Yes. Now, when we look at the flight patterns of those that own private jets, yes. Mm -hmm. If you got from point A to point B faster than you should have, mm -hmm. there's a question about did you uh, pass through the actual sound barrier without the military? <laughs>